First day of online school today. Can we go to Bonnie's Burgers for breakfast? Bonnie's Burgers for breakfast. Burgers for breakfast. No. Please, Mom. Like it's my first day of school. We can we can even bring Avery if you want. I mean, if that's like the problem, like it's just Bonnie's Burgers. It's delicious. Honey, I said no. No means no. Take no for an answer. I understand that it's your first day of school. High school, but you need to take no for an answer once in a while, okay? Bonnie's Burgers is not an option for today's breakfast. I already have some breakfast started. Maybe I can take you there for lunch or dinner, but your father would not be able to come with us for breakfast, and he wants to have breakfast with you before your big day. Big day? Girl, this is my first day of school, not a big day. Then you shouldn't even need Bonnie's Burgers if it's not a big day. Okay, fine, it's a big day, it's a big day, please, Mom. I'll think about it. Now go to your room and get ready and wake Avery up for me. Breakfast will be done in 20 minutes. Fine, party pooper. <gasps> Avery. What? You fell asleep with your bow on? Does that hurt your head? Oh. What do you want? It's time to wake up. Why do you have to wake me up? Because Mom's making me. I have the exact same question. Now get out of bed and go. I don't want Mom to get mad at me. Isn't it our first day of online school? Yes, it's our first day of online school. Now get up and go. What? So, you know how... You know how I, like, love you so, so much? And, like, you're, like, the favorite child, and you're my favorite sibling ever? I'm your only sibling. No, just go along with it. Can you, like, ask Mom... No, ask Dad. I already asked Mom. But, um... Or, no, I didn't already ask Mom. Uh, can you ask Dad to take us to Bonnie's Burgers today? Like, before he leaves for work or something? Because he leaves in, like... An hour and a half, and I don't want Mom's food for breakfast. I guess, but if this doesn't work, then, then I don't get no Bonnie's burgers. I'm going to throw a fit. Perfect. You do that, queen. <laughs> uh, so. Okay, well, tell Mom that I'm getting ready. But don't don't ask her for Bonnie's burgers. Ask Dad. Okay, well, where is Dad? I think he just got out of the shower, because I... No, he's probably out of his office now. Okay. Oh, my friend's gone. Hey, Brianna. What's up? Girl, are you, like, doing the online class today? Because I don't know if I can. Like, I'm terrified of online class. I can't even do class in person. How am I supposed to do online? Most likely, because my parents are going to make me. But, oh my gosh, I'm, like, literally terrified of online class. Like, who are our teachers even going to be? We didn't have open house. We didn't get an email about who our teachers were. Wait, you didn't get the email about who the teachers are? I got my email about the teachers. What if we're not in the same class? How are we, who are we gonna distract in the middle of class? Oh my gosh, don't put those thoughts through my head. I'm terrified right now. Okay, well, I should go because my, I just made my sister go ask my dad for Bonnie's burgers for breakfast. So he's gonna wanna talk to me about that. Okay, well, bye, I love you. I don't have class with my best friend. I'm gonna freak out. <laughs> yeah. Well, 
Well, actually, you know what? We could stay on the phone for like a couple more minutes, probably. Sissy? What? Um, so Dad said pro probably yeah, but he has to go take a poop. Ugh, gross. Get out. But it's my room, too. I said get out. Go watch, like, some sort of show on the TV. I'm at my grandparents' house right now, if you can tell, because my parents are making me stay here because we don't have Wi-Fi at my house. So, yeah. Honey, are you almost ready for school? Oh, yeah, Grandpa Dale. I'm just on the phone with Gemma. Oh, hello, Gemma. So lovely to see you. Hopefully you guys are in the same class. Uh, what's your teacher's name again? Mr. Bergenson. Bergenson, alright. Well, I'll, um... Gemma, I'll shoot your dad a text and... Or maybe I'll call him and I'll ask if you could check what class you're in. Thanks, Grandpa. No problem, darling. Also, your parents are going to have you stay here for more than just a month. They're going to probably have you stay here for, like... Every single weekday, and you can go there every other weekend. Uh, okay. And your little sister's going to be here as well. Oh, great. Mm hmm Now, start getting ready for school, please. I don't prefer you being on the phone at the moment. Bye, Gemma. Bye-bye. Hey, no. Well, I gotta go, sorry. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Uh, talk to you later. Mm-hmm. Breakfast! Great. Babe, I already told them, I already told Gemma no to Bonnie's Burgers. You can't go against what I said. Uh, actually I can. Ow. Ow! Actually I can go against what you said to Gemma because, um, she's my daughter as well. And Avery asked and said she would throw a fit if I didn't take them, and that doesn't mean throwing fits gets your way or whatever. It's not what I'm trying to teach them. I'm just, it's their first day of school. It, it could help ease their nerves, and I don't think you want, I'll be at work all day, and you'll probably be at, like, Pilates in the morning, or, like, or in the afternoon. And I want them to have a good first day, you know? So I take that that's no Bonnie's Burgers. Nope, your father's gonna take you. <gasps> really? Avery! What? Dad's gonna take us to Bonnie's Burgers. Mm-hmm. Honey, if you want anything, just let me know. But, um, I'm gonna take the girls now. Come on, girls. Yay! Love you, Mom. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Fries and a chocolate chip cookie. Can I get a cheeseburger, waffle fries, and a chocolate chip cookie? Mm -hmm, no problem. How about you, Avery? Um, I want a brownie and six chicken nuggets. And a brownie and six chicken nuggets, please. Can I any drinks to go with this? Um, yes. Um, another iced coffee. The iced caramel macchiato. An iced caramel macchiato. Alright, no problem. And I want chocolate milk. Is it without chocolate milk? Yup. Alright, um, go ahead and pull up to the next window and pick. Okay. Hi there. That'll be 15.61. Here you go. Thank you so much. Next window for your food. Your food will be ready in a couple minutes. Thanks. A couple minutes later. Here is that. Ah. And here is that. Have a nice day. You Alright, girls, love you all in my heart. Avery? Hi, here. Mwah. Enjoy your guys' food. Uh, and also have a good day at class today. Have a good day at um, Pilates or yoga or whatever. I gotta head to work, but I will be back tonight at around 7. 7? That's so late. You never work late shifts anymore. It's so annoying. It's annoying that I don't work them or that I do work them. 
But you do work them, because I want to watch movies with you tonight, but I'm going to be in bed by then. You're not going to be in bed by seven. Stop falling over. What are you doing anyways? Nothing. All right, bye girls, love you. Be nice to your mom, please. Uh, you can eat your food in your room if your mom gives you the right, the, the permission. Uh, other than that, one of you guys can use my computer upstairs, bring it down to your room, because you don't need to be in the guest room. Or you can be in the guest room. And the other one can you, uh, Gemma, you can use your laptop, obviously. Okay, love you, Dad, bye. Bye, I love you. Well, kids, enjoy your breakfast. Mommy has to head to Pilates. I will be back at 2. 2? It's only 8 o'clock. You're going to be back in, like, a long time. Love you guys. Well, it looks like we're home alone. Yep. Let's go eat in our room. Or I'm going to. Same with this. Well, I think you should use the computer upstairs. What? Why would I use it upstairs? You're older. I should just use your computer. Um, no. It's my computer. I'm already logged in on it, and I'm pretty sure Mom already logged in all your stuff for the computer upstairs. Well, then help me bring it downstairs. And the desk and the chair. You expect me to help you bring a computer, a desk, and a chair down all three sets of, or all, both of the sets of stairs? Well, yeah, because you're the one who gets to use the one downstairs in the first place. Exactly. Thank you for confirming that I get to use it. It's in my room, and if you weren't born, then this would have just been my room, so that would have been nice. I don't even get... Why, you don't have a room to yourself. We have a guest bedroom, our room, and mom and dad's room. You should have the room, I should have the room upstairs. You should have this room, and mom and dad can have the middle. Or I can have the middle. Someone can have the upstairs, and we, we just need to switch. Well, that's not the problem right now. The problem is, you're the worst sister ever because you just won't move the computer downstairs. So I'm just not going to do my schoolwork. Fine then, get in trouble with mom, I don't care. My classes start in five minutes. So you need to get out of my room, go watch TV or something. I can't help you with your online classes today. But you can help yourself? Wow. Yeah, I can. Stupid. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to class. Hi. Hi Gemma, thank you for being early to this class today. Uh, are you eating in class at the moment? Yeah, why? That is inappropriate behavior. Please put that away, Gemma. Well, what do you expect me to do? Not eat in class? I'm hungry. Don't give me attitude. Put the food away or I'm calling the principal. Or just adding them to the call. Okay, it's away. No more eating in class. If I catch you eating in class ever again, you'll be getting F's for the rest of the year. Brianna! <gasps> Brianna! Gemma? Quiet. I understand that you guys are best friends or something. I can already tell. But you need to be quiet. <sighs> um, Mr. Bergenson? Yes, Gemma? Uh, do you think school will end up opening back up? Mm, we're not positive about that yet. But if it does, we will obviously let you know because we will not be wanting anybody to miss any school after having to be quarantined for so long. Gemma, how's it going? Mommy? Oh, hi, Mommy. What's going on? Ow. Yeah, I actually already finished it, but Gemma's not on her online class. And she wouldn't help me get on mine. 
but I figured it out because I'm super smart. You know, Gemma's not even going on her. She said she's going to drop out of school without mom and dad knowing. Yeah. Love you too. <laughs> Sucker. That's what you get for not helping me. Gemma, you are not... What are you doing? Pretending to be on online class? Mom, my mic isn't muted. Um... What? I'm on my class. Then why did Avery... You're only on your class because Avery... Is a good kid and probably told you to. What? She told me what you're doing. Can you, like, fill me in? Because I have no idea what's going on right now. Yes, you do. Don't act stupid. Avery, call I called your phone expecting you to pick up, not thinking that you'd be in your class. Liar. And Avery picked up and said, Sh yeah, you said you were going to drop out. Because you wouldn't help her with the computer. What? She said that she wasn't going to do any of her classes. I don't know why you're believing her over me. She's a five-year-old and doesn't know right from wrong. She does know right from wrong. Clearly much better than you. I'm sure she told you that I was on my way home to yell at you, and that's why you joined your class. <laughs> Yet you still yelled at me. I've been on my class the whole time. You can even ask my teacher. Mr. Perkinson, I'm so sorry to interrupt this class, but did Gemma just join... No, she's the first one to be on, and she's the only one participating. Hmm. Sir, you don't have to lie for my daughter. She clearly can lie on her own. I'm not lying. If you don't believe your daughter, I could call CPS on you. It's technically child abuse. I, uh... T what? Anyways, back to class. Laura, could you please leave the room? Gemma's trying to do her work, and she just raised her hand to answer a question. And now the raised hand, she has to wait another five minutes to raise, to click the raising hand button again. I'll talk to you later. After class. Okay, bye guys. <laughs> Avery! Ow! What do you want? You seriously lied to mom like that? You know that you're the favorite child and she's going to believe anything you say. Especially when it comes to me. Uh, I didn't lie to her. I didn't tell her anything. Oh, really? She called the phone. You answered my phone. Like, why would you do that? Because you left it on the counter. Maybe be smarter where you put things. How about when I forget that I left something on the counter of mine, you don't touch it because it's not yours, it's mine. Whatever. And I told her that you said you were dropping out. Even though it was you that basically said that. You said you weren't going to do your work. Yeah, I told mom all about that. And Mr. Bergenson literally said to mom, she's been on the class the whole time and the only one participating. And mom still didn't believe her because of you. She never believes anything I say because of you. Maybe get better at, like, lying or something like that. Oh, like you are? Or maybe just ask mom to love me? Like, did you have to ask her to love you, or did she just do it naturally? Because I really want to know how to get mom to love me. I don't know. Maybe just be a good kid for once.